the other night, I've been playing my my twin reverbs at 80% of my gigs. So I take my dumbbell out, I hook it up, everything seems right. I, I sound check, you know, I make sure it's work. I make sure everything's plugged in and working right. And then like on the second song, I had an F note. Maybe it was even uh, that one. It, like the, It's a really resonant note in any room. Uh, I hit that note and out of my amp comes <laughs> just on the F note. That's that's exactly what it sounded like. I don't think it, it doesn't really. That F's not as true on. You hear it? This one's not either. Pretty sure for some reason it was that F. It's a resonant note, and out of my amp was coming. So, I knew that my loop buffer, my dumbbellator, I knew that there was a screw loose in there. And I know I'm an idiot for not taking it apart and f making sure that screw wasn't going to short something out. Like the minute that I, I knew, the, the minute I knew that that screw was loose in there, I should have opened that up and fixed it. That was pure stupidity. I could have shorted voltage to the chassis. I mean, I... So what I did was shook the unit so that I knew the screw was in the corner. Terrible approach. Um, so the first thing, I, th first thing I did once I got all my gear home uh, a day or two later was to put that, open it up and put that screw back where it goes. I guess I need to put some Loctite in there. But I will say I screwed that circuit board down. Seven years ago, five, four, year, four, five years ago, maybe six years ago. So that screw, that screw did pretty good, and it was the only one that came loose. So I guess I need to put some Loctite in there. But uh, so I hook my hook my whole rig up at home, and it com com comes right out of the amp. And mind you, I have to be a really loud volume to, to reproduce the, the, the problem, but so my first assumption was tubes, power tubes. I tapped on all the tubes uh, with my finger. It didn't sound like anything was microphonic and uh, the tube sounded fine. So I'm like, oh man, I'm going to have to open this amp. But I say, no, bird snake, don't do that. Go in there get a set of 6L6s out of something else or out of the closet. So I threw some JJs in there. And guess what? Problem solved. So I've got a set of Sovtech, 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 and one of them's bad. The plan is to put two of them in a twin reverb, turn the bass way up, and try to reproduce the problem in a twin because it's so bass heavy, it should be easy to, re to reduce the or to reproduce the problem. And so I'll put two of them in, and if the problem doesn't happen, I'll put the other two in. And then if the problem happens, then I'll switch one of those. Anyway, that's how I'm going to narrow it down. Uh, I'm just going to rule out a, a set of two and then find the one. And then I guess I'll throw it away and have three matched 6L6s. So that's cool because I can put those in a 50 watt amp and then if one goes bad, I'll have a backup. Uh, generally, generally, I don't have any problems with tubes. I pretty much only change tubes out of inspiration. One day I'll just be like, I think I'm going to try a different set of tubes. 
you know, you, you read something online and you're like, oh, maybe I should try that, you know, whatever. So that's when I changed tubes. Uh, once, once upon a time, I killed a set of tubes in a twin reverb uh, to the point where I had to pull one and go 50 watt. And dogs. Normally my amp is set up pretty close to the wall at a gig. But one day I, I hooked up the Dumble on a big stage and I was had it on, had it on and I was behind it. And I looked down and I'm like, one of those tubes isn't glowing. But realistically, only twice. Twin reverb long, long time ago. Uh, different Dumble amp, not the one I'm playing now. Um, Dumble clone. I think the tubes had been in there for like five years. Uh, really pushed hard. It was my at the time. It was I still have it's it's this amp right right here. It's a clone of 124, and for a long time, it was the only amp I played. So, understandable. But yeah, in my life, I'd say I've purchased 10 aftermarket sets, of like not the ones that came in the amp, throughout time. Uh, and replaced old tubes. And then... I should have a stockpile, but instead I've thrown out a lot of the old ones that I knew had been in the amp for years. I'm not talking like old tubes. I'm talking about JJ tubes or whatever. Uh, you know, because I know I I knew they'd been in the amp for five years or four years or six years, whatever. Been in the amp a long time. It's like I don't want to have to rely on this set of tubes one day. So now I kind of regret that because I could be rolling tubes like a madman. Anyway. Had a tube go bad. Happen, happens to all of us. But not, not that often for me. Also, I don't generally bias my amps hot. Like, the Dumble circuits, I bias them pretty cool. And on the, the twin reverbs, I'm not trying to get power tube distortion out of that thing. Really never. So, I bias those medium to cold as well. Not, not so cold that you get some any kind of weird distortion, but... Anyway, my tube's my tube my tube went bad, guys. Bird snake, thanks for watching.